He is known for being an American writer, critic, editor, lecturer, and activist. Considered eccentric and influential, he championed American literary nationalism and regionalism. John Neal advanced American art, fought for women's rights, and helped establish the American gymnastics movement. His name is John Neal. In the annals of American literature, one name stands out, John Neal, a writer and activist whose impact on the literary landscape is profound. Born in the early 19th century, Neal was a man ahead of his time. He championed American literary nationalism and regionalism, advocating for the development of American art and culture. Neal's contributions were far-reaching, as he fought for women's rights, the end of slavery, and racial equality. He even played a role in establishing the American gymnastics movement. Neal's literary achievements are noteworthy. He was the first American author to use natural diction and colloquialism in his works, paving the way for a new style of writing. In fact, he is credited with being the first to use the phrase, son of a bitch, in a work of fiction. Between 1817 and 1835, Neal achieved great success as a daily newspaper columnist, becoming the first American published in British literary journals. He also authored the first history of American literature and became America's first art critic. But Neal's impact extended beyond the realm of literature. He was a trailblazer in advocating for women's rights, becoming one of the first men in the United States to do so. For over 50 years, he supported female writers and organizers, fighting for equal rights and opportunities for women. Neal even delivered a powerful speech on the rights of women, which had a significant impact on the feminist movement. Additionally, Neal established a public gymnasium, recognizing the importance of athletics in regulating violent tendencies. John Neal may not have a single masterpiece to his name, but his short stories are considered some of the finest of his time. His novel, Rachel Dyer, along with his tales, Otter Bag, The Oneida Chief, and David Witcher, showcase his talent and literary prowess. His influential periodical, The Yankee, solidified his place in American literature. Neal's legacy as a writer, advocate, and pioneer will forever be remembered for his contributions to the literary and social movements of his time. John Neal, known as the inventor of the American short story, achieved great literary success with his collection of short stories. From 1828 to 1846, Neal published an average of one short story per year, playing a significant role in shaping the emerging genre in early children's literature. Among his many tales, two stand out as his best work, Otterbag, The Oneida Chief, and David Witcher. These stories overshadowed the efforts of his more famous contemporaries, such as Irving, Poe, and Hawthorne, by adding a unique dimension to storytelling that wouldn't be seen in American fiction until decades later with the works of Melville and Twain. Interestingly, David Witcher was initially published anonymously and only attributed to Neal in the 1960s. Another notable story, The Haunted Man, became the first work of fiction to incorporate psychotherapy. Neal's contributions to children's literature were equally significant. The Old Pussycat and the Two Little Pussycats and The Life and Adventures of Tom Pop are considered pioneering works in this genre. These stories captured the imaginations of young readers and helped shape the future of children's literature. In addition to his storytelling prowess, Neal's stories also challenged the socio-political issues of his time. During Andrew Jackson's presidency, Neal addressed themes such as manifest destiny, empire building, Indian removal, consolidation of federal power, racialized citizenship, and the cult of domesticity. For example, David Witcher challenged the prevailing notion of frontiersmen and Native Americans as irreconcilable enemies. Neal's story, Idiosyncrasies, served as a manifest for human rights in the face of patriarchal dominance. He also utilized humor and satire in stories like Courtship, The Utilitarian, The Young Phrenologist, Animal Magnetism, and The Ins and the Outs to shed light on social and political phenomena of the time. John Neal's collection of short stories not only showcased his literary talent but also provided insightful commentary on the pressing issues of his era. His works continue to be admired for their innovation, social critique, and contribution to the American literary landscape. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.